Hey guys, welcome on Synergy Outfit YouTube channel and today I'm gonna introduce you this beautiful red Ford Transit built in 2023. So this is one of the most recent trucks that was produced uh, by Ford and uh, this is uh, a pretty unique truck in itself because this is a uh, 178 wheelbase transit with uh, single rear wheels so basically some people says uh, that it's pretty much impossible to order a truck with such modification but somehow we got that truck uh, brought to us by a customer and uh, we were uh, absolutely uh, um, excited to build it for, for, for the customer. So a little, uh, little more words about, uh, about that truck is uh, that the uh, customer didn't want to pay uh, any extra money and uh, wait any longer for, to get an uh, extended cap sleeper with a match uh, color, which is red here. So that's why we installed the uh, uh, just basic uh, uh, white sleeper. And uh, let's just uh, go over the list of the, uh, uh, of the products we installed uh, on that truck. Uh, so this is going to be some kind of uh, overview of what we did and later I'll, uh, I'll show you that in particular. So that truck, uh, we had to um, install uh, uh, extended cap sleeper, uh, customer refused installation of uh, uh, extra wide side wings and installation of additional uh, spoiler on top of the uh, sleeper. So that uh, truck just comes with a uh, standard uh, smaller, just probably half of an inch uh, uh, side wings. Um, yeah, but they, they also uh, uh, do some, uh, some uh, good work for aerodynamics. Not much, but uh, still something. Uh, we installed uh, standard uh, uh, aluminum frame extensions uh, in order to install a 14 feet uh, box along with that uh, extended cap sleeper. And the box, yes, as I mentioned, that has uh, our uh, most popular uh, ultra weight uh, um, hard shell solid box. And uh, the last thing that we, uh, we installed, not, not the last one, uh, we installed um, uh, unfolding uh, letter underneath the box uh, for easy access into the cargo area and the last one now it's uh, um, uh, air ride suspension with a remote control so yeah that's basically uh, everything that we installed here and I'm gonna show you uh, this in particular right now let's go since we have uh, enough uh, videos right now on our channel with uh, uh, such a similar modification, I'm, uh, I will try uh, not, to, uh, uh, not to record uh, a very really long video, so that's uh, going to be a bit shorter video with uh, some just uh, smaller, uh, smaller attention to details. So, but yeah, of course, I will, I will show you everything that we installed here. And before we move forward, please do not forget to uh, like this video and of course subscribe to our channel below. So the link will be uh, posted here. And uh, as I always say, we love when you comment under our videos, when you uh, share some of your uh, uh, thoughts and uh, feedback is always appreciated. So don't forget to subscribe. Okay, that's uh, I believe a perfect view uh, to, uh, to say a few words about uh, the extended cap sleeper and then uh, mention a few facts about the, the box itself. So first of all, the sleeper uh, is made of uh, fiberglass. This is a very light sleeper and it weighs only 350 pounds. Yes, that's true. It weighs only 350 pounds. Fact number two, uh, the sleeper is only uh, two feet 
long. So that's why we usually uh, offer to customers two options, a 16 feet box with a rooftop sleeper or extended cap sleeper with a 14 feet box. So because that sleeper takes two feet of the space uh, behind the cap. And uh, the standard bed inside the sleeper is 24 inches. And uh, we also offer an option to upgrade to 28 inches uh, deep uh, bed size and uh, that upgrade also comes with um, with a thick uh, memory foam mattress really good one okay a few words uh, about the uh, the box the box is also made of uh, uh, fiberglass and uh, we use sandwich panels um, so on both sides we have a, a really uh, thick and strong fiberglass inside we have a really strong uh, uh, a foam along with some aluminum uh, reinforcements uh, and uh, the box is uh, about uh, 97 and a half inches uh, wide between each tracks and 95 and a half inches uh, in the door portal which is between the uh, floor and the uh, you know, top uh, profile in the doors. All of our boxes always come with uh, with uh, door holders uh, for uh, driver safety and for truck safety. So when uh, when a driver uh, um, pulls up for uh, for loading or unloading, uh, he or she can secure the doors on side of the box and make uh, to make sure that uh, he can safely get the truck loaded without. Uh, um, uh, without a chance that someone will get uh, killed by the wind using the door as a weapon <laughs> so something like that so yeah those uh, these are the uh, door holders I'm talking about and the uh, the other part is on the door itself all of our trucks come with a plastic wheel fenders uh, with mud flaps uh, this is kind of a law and uh, it protects uh, um, the cars uh, behind driving behind you from uh, getting all of the mud especially in the winter fall uh, and spring season okay now one of my uh, the most favorite parts uh, is uh, that unfolding uh, letter underneath the, uh, the box it's a really uh, cool thing and I uh, suggest uh, all of our customers to uh, add that option because it works really great and it looks good and it's really durable and uh, yeah that's just perfect so I'm gonna show you how, uh, how to use it you have two handles that you just twist on each side and then you just unfold it beautiful letter so it's uh, two complete steps about 10 to 12 inches uh, deep and about 24 inches uh, inches wide really uh, really convenient option I mentioned about the door holders they are right here I will uh, show them closer later so we open the door secure them of course using those uh, door holders And now you just simply get inside. Here we go. So really good option. Um, it's just brilliant. And in order to uh, put it back, same thing. Just fold it, twist the locking device, and that's it. So yeah, it will not go anywhere. As always, uh, I love to mention that uh, we use the best uh, uh, type of uh, floor for uh, cargo boxes. It's uh, three quarter of an inch uh, uh, special treated plywood. It's uh, non-slip. Uh, non 
Uh, we have two rows of E-tracks on each wall. One is about uh, 18 to 24 inches uh, from the ground. The other one is about 40 to 54 inches from the ground. Basically, you can secure any type of freight in that, in that box. And this box will fit up to six standard pallets, 48 by 48. So it's uh, uh, three, uh, three rows, uh, two by two, like side by side. Uh, if you go with uh, 40, uh, 40 inches long, which is like 40 by 40 pallets, uh, you can uh, fit up to eight of those, uh, which is another benefit of that box. And uh, don't want to forget about the uh, weight capacity of the truck. As I said, the sleeper is very light, the box is really light. And the truck itself weighs about 47, 4800 pounds. So all you just have to do is uh, add the uh, uh, add the uh, weight of the uh, of the outfit and add the weight of the uh, truck driver and all of his belongings and uh, everything he needs or she needs uh, uh, for the work and deducted from 9950 GVW on that truck, that's going to be your legal payload. So basically, on average, uh, that's going to be around 3,500 pounds. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Uh, again, it depends on the, a, lot of, a lot of things. So that's a great truck that will allow you to, uh, uh, to bid on a lot of load opportunities and uh, stay really profitable. One more thing that I want to mention is that all of our trucks now come with the standard uh, duck bumpers. Uh, those are to protect uh, locks on the uh, door portal to prevent them from being damaged by forklifts. That's why they are located too close to those, uh, uh, to those locks. And uh, basically they will also protect your uh, door portal uh, from being damaged, being uh, bent uh, by forklift as well. So yeah, if you want, we can also, for some extra money, we can also install a couple additional duck bumpers installed on the uh, edges of the box. Those would uh, prevent your box from being damaged when you, uh, when you park uh, by, the, uh, by the dock. But yeah, sometimes uh, people need it, sometimes they do not. Okay, and a few words about the uh, air ride suspension. Fortunately, it's not possible for me to stay underneath the truck and uh, point fingers. But on the left and, and right side of the video, you see uh, uh, the airbags. That uh, those are the ones that we install on the single rear wheels uh, trucks, and uh, they are produced by Airleaf. This is a leading uh, American. Um, uh, suspension company so yeah they have the best quality uh, and the best product uh, on the market and uh, they have fantastic warranty as well uh, so yeah that's number one choice for our company and the uh, uh, reason why uh, people uh, add those airbags is uh, sometimes it's a requirement in order to uh, to hold fragile goods and uh, some people also use it to uh, to make their ride smoother, especially when you drive somewhere like in uh, Detroit or Atlanta, where the roads are not the best quality, and that will also protect your uh, your rear axle and your suspension from uh, from being uh, from getting out of service sooner uh, than its expected lifetime. <laughs> something like that so that's a really good good and popular option uh, probably 70 percent of our customers uh, decide to install air ride and the rest uh, Suri will most likely come back uh, within the next uh, few months uh, so basically most of uh, our customers love those uh, air rides so guys we are inside of the sleeper extended cab on Ford Transit uh, and uh, that sleeper is pretty much uh, basic for all uh, for all uh, four transits. Uh, as you could see uh, on my background, there is a, um, a black plastic console in the center of the sleeper. It comes with an unfolding uh, table, which uh, is one of the um, uh, features that our customers really love. And it also comes with a small uh, flexible um, uh, light stick. Uh, and a couple USB outlets, uh, 
over here and couple um, below the uh, the seats. Um, there are two uh, medium size. Uh, uh, storage compartments uh, underneath the bench on the left and right side and there is some more storage about the uh, about the roof um, and uh, yeah that's uh, pretty pretty much it and the uh, the sleeper um, uh, not the sleeper the bed as I mentioned uh, before is an upgraded bed with a 28 inches uh, deep mattress uh, which is uh, thick memory foam uh, really comfortable and uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful option uh, for our clients. And uh, yeah, and that uh, uh, that bed is easy, easily uh, removable. So as you could see over here, no, you will not see here. I will just uh, I'll just show you how uh, how that uh, usually works. Okay, so I'm inside of the sleeper uh, behind the seats. Um, if you wish, I can lay down, I can just uh, sit and talk with you like that. But just to show you uh, what it's capable of, I'm gonna lay down over here. I'm gonna lay down on that side. And I'm gonna show you how that uh, central part can be easily stowed away. So I take this part away there are two clips on the frame and here you go that piece can be put away for example into the storage above the roof that piece of mattress can also be stowed And here is the, by the way, yeah, here is the light on the um, flexible stick. And here is the table. Bam 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 bam. I can sit on any side and it's uh, easy to take it away. Just two, uh, two buttons underneath the table. And it can be easily uh, stored. There are two, uh, no, not two one uh, 12 volt outlet over here and as i mentioned one more over here and uh, dual usb outlet uh, as well uh, that's also that's all, all made from plastic there is a storage compartment there is a storage compartment there is a storage compartment as well and under my seat is storage compartment as well so a lot of uh, place and where i sit right now a lot of people uh, who do not usually use the uh, the table and do not like to sit they usually use that space uh, for their refrigerator so that's a perfect spot for refrigerator if you get one of course a portable one okay what else to show you is i have a light over here i'm not sure if you see it but there is the same one on the other side and one more up top okay i took the camera into my hand into my hands just to show you how i'm uh, how i'm fitting here so as you can see i have a lot of space so pretty spacious Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, uh, uh, that was Synergy of PD2 channel. My name is uh, Igor and uh, we are located here in Hopkins, Minnesota and uh, work with uh, all kind of uh, uh, expediters uh, from all over the United States and Canada. So if you uh, wanna build a box truck uh, under 10,000 pounds or if you're interested in a sleeper, uh, for regional or over-the-road operation on the uh, um, any non-CDL box truck, uh, give us a call or send us an email. We would be happy to assist you. And uh, yeah, if any questions, please uh, please give us a call. Uh, phone number will be listed below uh, or email us. Email will be also listed below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, like this video and share with your friends. Thank you so much.